Okay, my friend, today we are going to study chapter 5, section 2, pairs of angles. The first one is uh, vertical angles. As you see, it's written here, vertical angles are determined by intersection of two lines. So you can see here two lines. It's the first one is here and the second one is here. They are intersecting the common point there. So A and B, the angle A and B are congruent. The congruent mean, if you remember chapter 5, section 1, they have same measure. So they, when they are congruent, they have same measure. Of course, the opposite angles in the intersecting lines, we call them vertical angles, and they are congruent. So think about it. These are acute angles, congruent. Of course, these two sides are congruent too. So let's show you another one. Here you see another intersecting lines. As you see, this angle 42 degrees and this is 42 degrees. So they are congruent because they are vertical. Or you can say that one, 138 and the other side opposite of it. Again, 138. So they are congruent. Let's draw another angle for you, another intersecting line, and try it another, uh, ex let's see another example. Let's try one more time to calculate the angle. Yeah, okay, 31, 31, so as you see, vertical angles. Let's try the opposite, op obtuse one, yeah, you see 149 degrees, so opposite of it must be same, yes. As you see, vertical angles where all the time are congruent. So they are measure all time are same. So from here, if I ask you a question, so if I say this is 31 degrees, what is the that angle for you? What do you think about this angle? So as you see, this angle will be 31. So let's make a question for you here fast way. So yes, that's better now. What is the value of x here? The x is here 31. So opposite angles are 31. That's all. Let's continue. This is the vertical angles. Yeah, your vertical angles, you can say opposite angles are congruent. Okay. The second uh, pair. So when we talk about pairs, they are double, yeah, two angles. So two complementary angles are two angles such the sum of their measure must be 180. No. What is written here? 90. So when we talk about when we talk about complementary angles, the sum of two angles must be 90 degrees. Let's give an example. Okay, as you see, there's an L, angle L is that one, and angle D is that one. So if measure of angle D and the measure of angle L is equal to 90 degrees, we call them complementary angles. They complete to the right angle. As you see, when you put them together here, okay, L and D, now they are adjacent angles, and you see it's 90 degrees right angle. So we will call them complementary angles. Let's continue another one, supplementary angles. You can separate complementary supplementary from S. As you see here, an S at the supplementary angle. So this S, I will, it will remind me straight line. When it's line straight, the angle become 180 degrees. So when we have supplementary angles, so the total will be 180 degrees. Let's give an example. There's an angle X and angle Y. They are separated. They are, they are not adjacent. So the supplement, they are supplementary angles. Y angle X, measure of angle X, and the measure of angle Y it's equal to 180 degrees. So when you put them together, as you see, there's it's become a straight line here. So when we talk about supplementary angle, you will rem memorize 180 degrees. But when it's come to the complementary angles, it's 90 degrees. Usually I confuse them, but I just check the S. When it's S, it's a straight line. So 180 degrees, it's remind me 180 degrees. So supplementary is 180 degrees. Let's continue in your book, the example one. Name two vertical angles. So the vertical angles, there must be intersecting lines, two intersecting lines or line segment, it's okay too. 
and opposite angles. I need to think about the opposite angles. Here I can see ST, the line ST and RN are intersected at the point M. So these SMR and NMT they are vertical. So I need to write here the angle. Let's insert a mathematic equation here. Yes. Okay now what do I need here? I need an angle. Okay, here the angle symbol. Angle S R T and oops, sorry about it. The angle is done. So angle S R T and not close and what we are talking about, I'm confused, I am very sorry. We are talking about identifying pair of angles. So it's a name two vertical angles. So the vertical angles, it must be intersecting line S, M, R, and N, M, T. So S, M, R, and the angle N, M, T. This is important here, the word M, as you see, there is a mistake. Yes, uh, I see a mistake here. SRT, what is SRT? SMR. So the first angle is SMR. That's now it's correct. Why? You can ask me, teacher, what did you do here? Okay. Now that's good. Now name two vertical angles. So SMR. This is very important. The vertex all time must be when you give the name of the angle, when you try to give a name of the angle. So if you are looking at name, the vertex all time must be at the middle. So SMR, the first angle, and opposite of it we, we have here NMT, so two vertical angles. I think that's enough for this example. It's a two vertical angles and we gave it. If you say, you can say SMN, SMN, yeah, this one, and RMT, as you see, RMT and SMN, they are, again, vertical angles, so obtuse one. Name two complementary angles. What was the complementary angles? The total must be 40 degrees, as you see here, SMR 40, SML 50, so 40 plus 50 makes 90. Then let's add here another mathematic equation. So what is my angles here? SMR. So first symbol of SMR. And SML. So why SML? Because 40 plus 50 makes... 90 so to complement the angle total must be 90 s m l don't forget the vertex all time at the middle so that's our second answer so name two supplementary angles so at the supplementary it must be 180 degrees straight line supplementary straight line yeah i can memorize from the s so it must be 180 degrees. R, M, N. I can say that R, M, N is a straight line. So, R, M, S is 40 degrees. S, M, N is 140 degrees because 90 plus 4, 50 is 140. So, total will be 180. So, what's, let's write the names here. What are the names? R, M, S. Of course, I need to put an angle symbol first. R M S and another angle S M N S M N. Here, uh, look at that one. I already know the value. So forty plus one hundred forty. I can say it forty plus one hundred forty is uh, one hundred eighty. It's okay. By the other way, I can say that SML and LMT. Look, uh, let's put the points here. Mm. Yes, look at 
as uh, another color which is another color look at as m l so this angle and l m t so if you say these two angles again make a straight line so again we can say these two angles supplementary angles you can give different result here yani you can say r m l l m n again makes a straight angle so therefore there will be lots of answers so all of them will be correct you need to write two of them that's enough but this is the easy way because there are some numbers if, even there is no numbers you can say it's for example s m l l m t so it's supplementary angles again continue example two a b c d as you see there's a big square and b e f g again they are square it say g lies on a b so the point g is intersection point of g f and a b g f and a b the point g show that c b e r collinear c b e r collinear so to show that one i need to say the angle c b e is equal to 180 degrees so i need to say angle c b e equal 180 degrees how can i say that one an idea what we know here we know here two squares if i remember if i remember correctly the angle of a b c because this is a square this is right angle this is first the second one angle of g b e because of g b e f is a rectangle so i can say that this is right angle so therefore angle c b e is equal to 190 degrees as you see right angle 90 degrees plus 90 degrees 90 plus 90 it's equal 180 degrees so cb is a line and cbe are on the same line so they are collinear points if you remember collinear points the points lies on the same line i think this is the end of the lesson no there is another example sorry after that this is the end of the lesson okay what it say it say um a g and dt intersect at point m t m bisect g m n g m n so show that m d bisects so m d bisect a m b this is the easy question why if you remember vertical line in the intersecting lines so this point is the same with this angle so another color let's choose nmt so this angle so nmt this angle and this angle are congruent if this is bisect so this must be bisect the a and b why they are congruent angle already so they are congruent too that's all if you have any question you can ask me thanks for watching have a good day stay healthy of